another grim looking 19th century castle here in Rochefort in Belgium next to the Mother of Darkness castle it says 1066 ah that was William the Conqueror with the Normans so this is the Meuse river Meuse Aye, what I see there they started this building this church here in 1066 in Wy that's H-U-Y here in Belgium So, you see the Sun Euroglyph here, next to a coat of arms, aristocracy, pharaoh, checkerboard, like a, like in a Freemason lodge. Yeah, it's all about the aristocracy in this church, a lion with a crown, oh, what do you know, eh? with the red fingernails. <laughs> yeah. For the uh, the Red House of Pharaoh, the original pharaohs. So is the river Meuse, big river. You see a castle there. That was the church I just was in. Those castles. Uh, there's another castle there. It's all feudal here, you know aristocracy raping children in castles it's a feudal a feudal system here the whole country uh, that looks like some nu nuclear stuff there wow. i'm coming from that place where the cube was and that church what do i see here There's a lot of Templar V's in it, you know, on top. And um, inverse Templar V's, it almost looks like a, uh, a compass. Oh, I'm kind of busy here. And here you can see five bundles of grain, you know, corn, like tied together. So this is the faches. That means one bundle you can, um, you can, um, you can break it. But all together you cannot. So here stands one for all and all for one. Uh, uh, unes per omnibus, omnes per uno. Which says on the ceiling of the Swiss Parliament. It's Freemasonry. And who made it? Well, what do you know? The Rotary Club with an hexagonal symbol in there as well. There's probably one of their, their Freemasons. So the Rotarians are also Freemasons. They don't, you know... What a noise. Yeah. Uh, so yesterday I passed a bar and um, I asked for some water. They invited me. It was a black uh, outlaw guy from a motor, motorcycle gang-like. And um, so I, I spent the whole day there. I did five uploads with the Wi-Fi in a bar. I never did this before. <laughs> of five videos and a guy invited me here so I slept in the shed here and a Wallonian I got coffee in the morning Wallonian Belgian guy so had, the weather is quite raining and it's quite quite dark as you can see so see it's raining so I was quite happy to be here we live in incredible times and um, my eyes are opening up more and more. So as it is raining and there's a storm coming up, before it was already storming a lot more, but there's a big storm coming up. Um, <clears throat> I already packed my stuff and uh, so I just got a nice dinner here. And as I heard about the um, you know the uh, coca-cola I've never tried it you know to put like a rusty nail like this one here to put it in the coke so now is the time because I'll, I'll be here until tomorrow to try this out I left a little bit of coke here in the glass 
I'll, I'll put it in. Let's see what it does tomorrow. Now, <clears throat> the guy just told me about this. And, uh, yeah. Well, it is working. Yeah. Wow, it is working. Yeah, man. You get this in your stomach? Wow. McDonald's with a Coke, you know. Oh. <laughs> so it's quite true. It takes the rust out of a off a uh, rusty nail. Coca-Cola. We'll have fun. So this here is a rust killer. A rust ext extinguisher. I uh, wonder what it does to the stomach. Eh? Actually the Belgian guy where I was staying in the barn, in the shed, uh, he told me his father died because they had a toilet in the old days outside and he got bitten by a rat who was in the toilet. The rat bit him in the ass and he died. Wow man. So look here in Belgium you can tie up your car so that's you know so that's safe. They thought about everything. You can just you know attach it to your car like good idea by the aristocracy. Faro. I know the drill. And the bloody poke. Or actually maybe it's to tie up the kitty so do true that he won't get them. <laughs> so what a country there. So still in the town Marsh all that free mates and stuff is here it tells a little story about the uh, the mayor during the war who of course he was collaborating with the nazis of course he was he was still being the mayor so and they told another story like you know he was um giving ahead to the germans and you know like he was a big resistance come on look at look at his grave Ta -da! like the germans hey on his grave, Templar's Cross, like on a German tank. Right. Here, some more. Oh, this Carlos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another big, uh, a big resistant. Come on, with a coat of arms, sure, yeah. So I'm sure I'll find a lot more, but never mind. You know, it's always the same. I'll find, really, I will find a lot more. But I was just passing by and I saw the temple across here. So, well, that's it. You know, no wonder that the European headquarters of the European community is in Brussels. You know, another quiet country, about, about whom never we never talk about it in the media the laws of silence just Switzerland but Switzerland is the very very base and um, it's um, they're very good slaves here there are a couple of nice people but the rest are very very good slaves uh, yeah Europe, the land of the Brussels the European community well that's not a coincidence Especially if you see all this here. Yeah? They never talk about it ex except when there's like du trou, but they stop talking about that as well. Yeah, so look, it's everywhere. There's a concept, you, you won't see it, maybe, you know. But here's the concept of three. There are th uh, three triangles here on top, which stands for the uh, compass. And here's the concept of four, the square. You know, it, it looks a little bit like a pyramid, right? there too so it's all very clear you know signs everywhere signs everywhere you know yeah look this is the uh, one of the French lotteries here Parillon that means to, to bet and here you see their logo here you see the red square 
of the old world order and the square is the concept of four, the base of a pyramid. And then there's another square where the whole thing is framed into. So there's two times then the, the concept of four. And then there are these four you know, um, leaves here. And um, so this is the third time the concept of four. So you've got the concept of three in it as well, like showing the concept of four three times. I uh, put it everywhere. And look here. It says Sar, meaning the king in demotic language, like in a sarcophagus. Well, look, watch the video, the Swiss beast. And it's got a Templar V in it. And what is it? It's from Alcatel. Um, it's for cell phones. And it says, you know, it's it's too dangerous, like to, it's all in English even, to wear it too, to, to keep that thing, whatever it is, too close to your body. Yeah, getting started. I, I don't even know what it is. It doesn't even say. Well, here's a, a website. So this is like the king wave. It will grill your mind in a minute or, you know. It, it's, it's really weird. So it's everywhere. Everywhere. You know, they, they just can't leave it, let it be. You know, everywhere they put their pharaonic stuff in, in all the products and all the logos and our masters. Our masters. Yeah, I'll film it for you. Maybe you can read it yourself. I'm, 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 I don't even want to read it all. It's all in English here. Just punch pause. Sar. Our masters are kings. Sar. Caesar. The Tsars. Nebuchadnezzar. Sarkozy. Son Altes Royal, our masters, and we are the slaves, sleeping in a forest. Ah, here it is again, the lottery, soccer, in red and white. Hey. <laughs> Pharaonic colors, the red house and the white house. Of course, of course, on this side, it's red, white and blue. Red and white for the old world order which is their base, in this case, you know, they show, usually we are the base, but here they show the old world's order, which is where they all come from. And blue is the war color, like soccer, you know, that's where we can have war on a, like 22 guys running after a ball in an arena, just like in the Colosseum in Rome, you know, it's war. I'm the biggest, I'm the fastest, I'm the best soccer player, I've got the biggest car. Stupid humanity. Okay, I just got back home in my forest. Close the door, will ya? Okay, I'm a bit tired, sir. No, close the fucking door. I'm tired, I have to put up my tent first. Oh, I'm so tired. Close the door, I told you. Yeah. Alright. Close it, bye bye. Uh, Sarge, sir. Yeah, what is it now? Uh, where is the door? Ah. Oh. Well, son, you'll find out where the door is when I strip you all naked in your undies and on your fours. You're going to shrub the toilets here, right? With a toothbrush. Okay, Sarge, I'll shut the door. Oh, sorry guys, I, I just drank too much of that Spanish stuff again.